What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with a special video. This is kind of an update video where I reflect on things within the past year and talk about what I'd like to do within the new year. This is kind of an off-the-cuff type video. Very few edits as possible, hopefully. I tend to mess up on my words sometimes on videos like this, but we'll see how it goes. This is kind of more of an update of what I plan on doing on my channel moving into the new year, uh, 2021. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things that I'm very proud of on my channel. I'm excited to see that you know, my channel keeps slowly growing and growing. At the time of this video, there I have 257 subscribers. That's pretty cool. I don't usually like making like any real big new year's resolutions i don't like making any huge channel goals i'm just doing this all for the fun and it is very rewarding when i see the, the channel slowly grow but it is really cool to see that it slowly grow over time and it's cool that i'm starting to find an audience who does enjoy these type of videos and i'm i like that i'm meeting more and more people along the way as i go along in this fun little YouTube hobby I have, especially fellow movie fans who do have their own movie review channels as well. And I've get, gotten to know some people very well. And it's I've even collaborated on several videos with other YouTubers, which is very, very cool. So going into 2021, uh, there's a lot of projects I'm currently doing that I'm definitely continuing to uh, that I'm currently continuing to do especially moving into the new year the big one of course being celebrating Disney that is the series the project on my channel that I am easily the most passionate about and it is definitely not going away anytime soon there's a lot of Disney films that's worth talking about their highs their lows their animated films their live action films so many Disney films worth talking about and that series is definitely not going away anytime soon. There'll still be a Celebrating Disney review every week as long as this channel is going. Easily the best project I have going on my channel right now. And I just love talking about a Disney film when I get the chance. Another series that's not going away anytime soon are the director projects. I've had great success with these director projects going through director filmographies and ranking them at the end of each series. At the time of this video, there are five director projects that I'm currently working on slowly but surely. Steven Spielberg, Peter Jackson, Ridley Scott, David Fincher, and Tim Burton. I definitely plan on finishing those director filmographies, hopefully within 2021. And I have other director filmographies that I plan on going through throughout the year as well. If you follow me on Twitter, I will leave Twitter polls from time to time where you can help decide which director I should tackle within the, uh, when I'm done with a director. I do have a few director suggestions I'd like to tackle very soon. One of which is Denis Villeneuve, especially with Dune coming out, hopefully later in 2021. I definitely want to review all of Denis Villeneuve's films on my YouTube channel. And there's other directors I'm interested in tackling as well that have popped in my brain. Uh, even in 2020, there have been some directors that have popped in my brain that I'd love to tackle, like James Cameron and John Carpenter, Orson Welles, Alfred Hitchcock. There's quite a few remarkable filmmakers. I'd love to go through their entire filmographies and review all their films on my YouTube channel, so I'm definitely not going to give up on the director projects anytime soon as well, and that's a series that I'm also passionate about. Even though it does take a while to get through their filmography sometimes with other projects and stuff that I'm doing on my channel, but I do enjoy these director projects. It's a fun little challenge to have. Another series that isn't going away, and one I'm surprised is actually gaining a lot of headway and feedback and also a lot of views are a lot of my Veggie Tales videos. It's crazy how that came about, honestly. I was scrolling through my YouTube feed one time 
and I watched Saber Sparks video about the history of Veggie Tales, kind of the rise and fall of Big Idea, their highs, their lows, and what happened behind the scenes of Veggie Tales. And I just had so much nostalgia watching that video, and I didn't know about you know the story behind Veggie Tales and Big Idea as a company. And watching that and pretty much going through everything crazy that happened in 2020 pretty much revived my love for the show. So of all the years where I got back into a Christian animated kid show about talking vegetables, 2020 was the year to do that. So that pretty much inspired me to start the series where I reviewed each classic episode of VeggieTales and reviewing them each week on my channel. And yeah, it's crazy that some of the videos have done well the way that they did. And that series is definitely not going away anytime soon. I do plan on reviewing every single episode, at least the original version of VeggieTales. I don't know about, because there's a few other like VeggieTales revival shows that have come out since then. I don't know if I'll get to those shows. I might just watch them on the side. We'll see. But I'll at least review all the episodes of the original run of VeggieTales. Like I say in my videos, the original series, which went from 1993 all the way to 2015. And I'm doing pretty good so far. I haven't missed a week yet. And I'm excited to review all these other episodes, the ones I grew up with, some of the later episodes, which I never watched, and I'm excited to check some of those episodes out for the first time. It's been a great series so far. I got other franchises I plan on tackling as well. Uh, there's very random franchises that I do review from time to time. I slowly go through some of these franchises and review them on my channel. Uh, some franchises that I'm currently going through right now that you'll see reviews pop up. Uh, I got the X-Men franchise I'm doing, the Rocky franchise. I've continued to go through the Universal Classic Monster films. I do plan on starting reviewing some films within the DCEU, uh, especially after watching Wonder Woman 1984. I'd like to review all the other DCEU films, have full extensive reviews of all the DCEU films. And then there's other franchises that'd be cool to go through as well. Hopefully with more and more movies hopefully coming out in 2021 within the new year. Because there's a few franchise projects that I stalled out on because the movies got delayed. Like I had Fast and Furious reviews and that project was put on the back burner and the 007 reviews. I'll get back to those whenever those new movies hopefully come out within this year. We'll see what happens. Hopefully things are going back on the uphill stretch again, slowly but surely. But yeah, I do plan on reviewing other franchises on my channel as well going into 2021. But the main reason I decided to do a reflection video is to reveal some new ideas that I got planned on my, on my YouTube channel. There's quite a few ideas that I like to do. These are, I guess... Even though I said I'm not a real big fan of New Year's resolutions about how far I want my channel to grow and stuff like that, I guess if we're going New Year's resolutions, I do have a few ideas that I'd like to start going into 2021 within my channel and see how stuff goes. The big one, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know where this is going. Uh, in 2021, I plan on starting a series called Birthday Months. And what that means is I look through each month of the year and to see which celebrities were born on whatever month. I set polls on Twitter to decide which actor sh which actor's birthday should I celebrate. And then whoever wins the poll, I'll review several movies with that actor or actress who was born in whatever month. So, for example, going into January... I'm going to reveal Nicolas Cage won the January poll. He just barely beat out Christian Bale, by the way. And so in the month of January, I'll be reviewing some Nicolas Cage films to celebrate Nicolas Cage's birthday, which is in January. I haven't officially revealed all of the Nicolas Cage films I plan on tackling in the month of January. 
I will tell you this. I will review the two National Treasure films, which will be on the celebrating Disney side. But other Nicolas Cage films I plan on doing, I will review. I do plan on tackling Leaving Las Vegas because that was the movie that he won an Oscar for. And I made a rule in this series where if an actor or actress won an Oscar for a particular movie, that's a movie that has to be on the birthday month because they won an Oscar for it. And it's one of the more celebrated films of that actor because they won an Oscar for it. So Leaving Las Vegas will be on the list. Eventually, I'll review all the Nicolas Cage films, so if you follow me on Twitter, I will review all the Nicolas Cage films that I at least plan on watching within the month of January. They might not all get watched, but it is my current plan. It is my game plan of what Nicolas Cage films I plan on watching to review in the month of January to celebrate his birthday. I got some other video plans I want to do throughout 2021 as well. If you followed me throughout 2020, I started, I experimented when I did my Eight Nights of Fright videos back in October with a vlog style video. This is inspired by Chris from Filmstock with his Now Playing series where I would react to and talk about a movie while I was watching the movie at the same time. And I'd like to do more of those type of videos throughout 2021 maybe not a regular recurring thing but maybe every other week type scenario where maybe I'll blindly pick a movie in my whole media collection and then do a reaction and a discussion on some of these movies and that'd be really cool especially the ones that are among my absolute favorite movies of all time I think that'd be a great series to hopefully get going throughout 2021 Another video series I plan on starting in 2021. Uh, I will discontinue a series that I had been doing in 2020 where I share my top five favorite first time viewings of each month. Instead, I'm going to do a video where I'm going to share just what I've watched the entire month, whether it's first time viewings or rewatched. It'd be kind of like a diary type video where I go through all the movies I've watched each month share some of the highlights and share some of the worst moments of the month movie wise and then maybe at the end of the video I'll share maybe my top five movies that I watched combined and then the first time viewings and so on and so forth and we'll see how those type of videos go another thing I'd like to do in 2021 is start maybe some live streams I'm very new to the technological game and It'd be cool to figure out how to do live streams on my channel and do some fun live videos, maybe do some live Q&As every once in a while. I think that would be pretty cool. Another thing I'd like to do more of, maybe not every once in a while because it does take a toll on you when you do this, but i like to do some more movie marathons in 2021 as well. Figure out some ideas how to do some movie marathons without taking up the whole day type of thing. It'd be cool to do some more movie marathons on this channel as well. That's just some plans that I got going in 2021. Again, thank you so much for sticking around. There wasn't as many new movies that have come out in 2020 because of the pandemic and everything getting delayed. Pretty much all I did in 2020 was watch random movies and just review them on my channel and then the new movies that come out, I just review whenever they come out. And I definitely appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the views. I definitely appreciate those who stick around and watch all my videos. I appreciate especially the ones that I've made friends with in, throughout this past year. And I'm very excited to see where the future of this YouTube is going to go. I don't have any real end game here. I just set up this channel just for fun. And it's just amazing that this is a thing. Uh, even though it's not a career, it's just a fun little hobby. And I enjoy doing this. It's a good little stress reliever, honestly. Because there's a lot of negativity in the world. And I didn't come to set up any unneeded drama or go into like crazy politics and ramble and hate and complain about what goes on in the world. This is just a fun channel of me talking about things I love. 
and with the movie fans who share the same hobby and fandom and love. And that's what this channel is all about. And I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for all those who subscribed. I want to give special shout outs to Anthony A. Perez, Dave from Interpreting the Stars, Chris from Film Stock, Trevor from Film Geeks, Josh from Simply Cinema, and all the others who have subscribed to my channel. Even if I don't mention you by name, I do appreciate all those who have subscribed to my channel over the past couple years, and I appreciate the growth, I appreciate the support. I hope you all have a wonderful, amazing new year. I hope 2021 is a better year for all of us. I hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!